Lincoln Airport. Look how beautiful they got it done up. <laughs> Huge airport. It's like a mall in there. Can you see the lights? I guess these are Christmas lights. But we're just showing that this is Africa. <laughs> oh, we're here in a wonderful Cape Town. Friends come to pick us up. But this is it. Peace. We're going to have a good time as usual. Places you got Woolworths. My friend said, and I didn't believe him. Woolworths food. For those of you who know, there was a Woolworths store in America. This is it. We are in Cape Town, Africa. Coming to a mall, strip mall. And still the same. Everywhere you go. Neighborhood in South Africa. Beautiful day. Look at the trees, the palm trees. Oh man. So quiet yeah. and peaceful. This is the mall, South Africa, Cape Town, near the beach. We're in the ball, ain't we? Yeah. We're jamming. Look at this. Now you're of America. It is. It's just like the West. All of South Africa is just like the West. And this is the famous mall. Having a good time. This will let you know it's a small world. Now I'm, now I'm lock hunting. They're telling me, taking me where I need to go. We jamming again. We having fun. <laughs> oh, we gotta get some camping chairs on our hike. All right, thanks. Oh, here we go. There was one fifty-five, one fifty. So this one's just 20, 20 rides, which is less than one, one, oh, one, one, one dollar. You say that's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, there, is, there was a 150. See, look at that. People getting ready for Christmas time. <laughs> and the line is packed in there, too. And what is it? It's the 3rd of December, so people getting ready for Christmas. Mind you, the States, don't it? Just like the West. Like we said, the idea is everywhere. Look at that, and this is Africa. Matter of fact, South Africa is more built up than many other countries I've seen. You know, on that level, on materialism. And you can see what's behind me on the walls, the food, all of this. But this is Cape Town, South Africa. And we got a good place down here now, so we'll keep you posted. We're going to be spreading this word and this message. You know, I, 
we magnifying people to us everywhere we go. But that's the light that's coming off of us. All right, peace and blessings. one of the world's wonders. Now why is that? Because it's, it's, it's unique, one of the world's natural wonders. And a great question was brought up, what energy took place that will flatten it out on the top like that? That's wild, ain't it? So we gotta go hike it to go investigate. We're on a mission, a flat mountain top. Like a pyramid over on one side, pyramid at the other. Most mountains go up in a peak, but this is called Tabletop Mountain. Beautiful. Here we are. We're on the Brook Beach front here. And what is this beach called again? They all connect us over. Sunset Beach? Yeah, Sunset, Sunset Beach. But the thing about it, look at this view we got. We're close to the tabletop mountain. And the question is, how did it get like that? This is why it's going to be one of the, or it is, one of the wonders of the world, officially. And this is good to see it like this, in person. A mountain that's actually flat on the top. That's awesome. But as we're getting closer and closer, we're actually going to climb that thing in a few days. So we're going to go up there in the best what could have happened? Now, there is a story you can look up. Now, you did look up the story. Do you remember? No. Ah! <laughs> There's a mythical god that two people um, manifested it. Yeah. That's the story. Something That's the like story. That. Yeah. She cut it down short for us. One second. Yeah. <laughs> Nipped it in the bud. But there is a story behind that. You could go look it up. But uh, the key is we're going up there, huh? Yeah. We got to go investigate. We're the investigators for the tabletop mountain. This again, look at this beautiful beach. Man, the energy is high out here. Yeah. You know where we're gonna be at in the morning. I already know. This is good. So once again, keep up the good work. It's all about energy cultivation. We had a good one this morning and we got another one coming up this evening. Peace and blessings. Look at that, it's like a pyramid. go walk in the Cape Town and it's a three well four hour walk 
We already walked a good half hour, 40 minutes. But this is a nothing for us. Because we are in shape. <laughs> we have good health. This is what it's all about. When you got good health, you can do things like this. Don't even think about it. This is the power of health is your wealth. Here's my two friends. Look at them. I ain't even worried about it. Having a good time talking. <laughs> Peace. Life is so beautiful, life is so good, life is so beautiful, life is so good, so good. Walking is one of the healthiest things we can do for our bodies. It improves your cardiovascular system helps your blood pressure to lower it. It opens up the energy channels in your body. Now walking is natural for the human being because the human being was designed to walk, was designed to move because we're energy beings. We are energy beings.
Starbucks in South Africa. On our way back, another adventure. That's in a wonderful bus. Oh, here we go. All right. It's a platform. <laughs> That's a wonderful experience. <laughs> yeah, priceless one. <laughs> la la la. Ready to catch our bus back. Long adventurous day. La. I didn't mean to do that. Today, we did 16 and a half miles. So how to train yourself to walk long distance. During the week, try to alternate days of brisk walking with more moderate pace walking. And try to ensure over and around four, and a, four to five miles, which is seven to eight kilometers each day. At the weekends, you can have back-to-back -back walks that concentrate more on building stamina for longer distances, developing fatigue resistance, and improving strength. This is what it's all about. Because it's fun, it's healthy, and you will really enjoy yourself. It's a beautiful night as we had a good day's walk, 16 and a half miles. Beautiful. And tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up again. Look at that beautiful luminous energy coming from the moon. Energy is everywhere, both day and night. What you wanna do is build up your energy and walking is one of the best exercises that you can embark on to really build a strong vessel. So as I sit here in my study, maintaining my thoughts on this subject of really moving the body and taking advantage of walking for the solar breatharian process. First of all, walking is so powerful, it helps you to maintain a healthy weight and lose body fat. It prevents or manages various conditions, including heart disease, strokes, high blood pressure, cancer, and type two diabetes. It improves your cardiovascular fitness all these benefits just from walking and walking is fun now when you're training a lack of muscle ache is a strong sign you're not pushing yourself hard enough your goal is a light muscle ache that shows that you worked it now if you're too sore to move the next day you have overdone it please don't overdo nothing on a journey you should get the right pressure in order to grow. Now back to the intensity on your next walk. Pick it up again and just keep staying consistent and you'll be healthy. <laughs>